at myself and this really, really kicked my ass. Those are the words of Oscar de la Hoya. Um, as you, if you guys don't know, just moments the news has broke. Oscar de la Hoya has, was making a comeback against uh, Mr. Belford, and he tested positive for COVID nineteen. And this is what he had to say: "Quote wanted you to hear directly from me that despite being fully vaccinated, I have contracted COVID nineteen, and I'm not going to be able to fight next weekend. Preparing for this comeback." has been and as you heard him early he said it really kicked my ass so a lot of times you know um my counterpunch on this is these things happen this is the day and age of covid and you know um he's not the only one of course i had covid and you know and it did a little kicking but i mean was it the worst thing i ever experienced no but i it's just me okay now, I am not vaccinated, so he, uh, being fully vaccinated, it's still kicking his butt. Now, you know, the good thing is, hopefully, he will come out of it, and hopefully, the treatment for COVID helped him when he took it, all right? And um, he will be back to fighting shape, you know, and um, I just came from my physical, because I did a physical today, and I had my mask on and everything. And then the doctor came in and he told me like, hey, you know, you, we don't require a mask because the COVID will go right through your N95. Because I had an N99 on actually because mm -hmm. I have a different type of mask. But it was like each strand of COVID that they have will go right through that mask. So we don't require it here. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, but, you know, Oscar De La Hoya is another person. He said he took care of himself. He did everything he's supposed to do. Well, there is nothing else he can do, okay? So if you contract COVID, you, you just contract it, and the symptoms that you get from whatever strain you get, that's what you get. Hopefully, you can recover back from. But what's, what's most important here is that he gets better, okay? You've seen him on a gurney and things of that nature, and he, you know, he looked like he was bummed out, you know, and it does make you kind of foggy and kind of out of it, you know what I mean? My eyes were glazed over and my brain was foggy and I had a headache here, 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 and here. Uh, the body aches lasted about three days, four days. Sweats lasted about nine or 10. They lasted a while. That's, you know, you were either freezing or you were, you know, either hot, you know, and uh, the guys that followed me on my other channel, uh, I talked, you know, um, in depth about that, but I hope Delahoya gets better you know, um, this is a bummer because I did and I was looking forward for him coming back to the sport of boxing, you know, in the legendary league. So we're just going to have to wait for that. But I hope he gets better. You guys tell me what you think about Oscar De La Hoya catching COVID right before his comeback. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.